Raid modes are coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and they're actually right around the corner. And uh, in a few videos, I've been skeptical because these, these extra modes we've had in the past, some of them are hit or miss, and sometimes they end up being kind of a dud. But I want to say, the more I learn about this, I'm actually excited about this. Now, we could look back in three weeks and be like, well, that was a complete miss. Or we could be like, hey, this is something... Uh, that is actually fun and expandable. Welcome to the new Chaos Call of Duty channel, everybody. Chaos here. This is the channel where we cover daily Call of Duty, whether that's leaks, rumors, updates, news, trailers, anything that's going on uh, on the daily. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you have those notifications fully turned on. And today, we are going to go over everything uh, about the Modern Warfare 2 raid mode. Is it free to play? How do you actually get in? You actually have to have a key to get in. How long can you do the raid? We're gonna answer all those questions. So uh, stick around and let me know if you guys are excited for it. And do you think it will actually be something cool or do you think it'll be a fail? It's gonna be the new take on, uh, on co-op for Call of Duty. So we've known about it for a while. We just never got any details, and we have the Season 1 Reloaded update coming, and this is going to be part of that. This is going to be a mode that you can play with friends. It will release on December 14th, right along with the Season 1 Reloaded update, which we have a video up if you want to know all the details on that. You're also going to be getting shipment, which is pretty cool for the people that want shipment in every single Call of Duty, but I digress. Now, raids. Three-player cooperative engagement requiring teamwork and strategic puzzle-solving thinking in between bouts of intense combat description. That's what they call it. There's a lot to unpack in that, okay? Three-player co-op, that's fun. You have to engage in teamwork and uh, strategic puzzle-solving. That's going to be interesting. What kind of puzzles are we actually solving? We're going to talk about that as well. And all in between uh, bouts of intense combat. We're really going to see what Infinity Ward has been able to do when it comes to the AI in Modern Warfare 2 because the AI are going to play a massive role in the new raids. So, they talked about how it's going to be this ultimate challenge of trios, stealth, all-out action, puzzle solving. Uh, what exactly is it going to be? Well, that remains to be seen, but we do have details of what we're actually going to have to do in this first uh, version, the Adam Grad raid, which we found out about at the Game Awards the other night. Now... You actually have to earn your way in to the raid mode. Yeah, I know that sounds weird, but it's true. In order to access the raid mode in Modern Warfare 2, you are going to have to earn or acquire a raid assignment. This is going to let you and your team enter the raid for a full week. And you can actually do this a number of different ways. There's three ways you can do this. And from what I've gathered, one of you can acquire the raid assignment and get your team in. I don't think all three of you have to do it. Now, that may, that may be false, but that's what I'm reading when it goes off the description. So the three different ways you can go try to earn raid assignments are, first is complete a specific daily challenge in either multiplayer or spec, or spec ops. That's probably the easiest, most uh, just upfront way to do it. Second, place in the Battle Royale's playlist Top 20, okay? And uh, the last way is the final extract helicopter in DMZ. Use it and have at least 30000 in cash. So extract yourself in DMZ mode in the final helicopter with 30 k and you will earn a raid assignment. That first raid is going to be Adam Grant. Now, let's talk about what actually is going to go on here. They're going to showcase the elements that they have been proudly boasting uh, for Modern Warfare 2 AI, the swimming mechanics, all of that stuff. So we saw what it looks like, and it looks like we are going to be invading a sub pin. And I don't know if it's going to have uh, throwbacks to the Modern Warfare 2 sub pin, but we'll see. And they say if you can get through it with your team, then you'll be able to access a harder difficulty playlist as well. So what we are hearing, Tom Henderson, Industry Insider, has specifically said that there's going to be at least two puzzles involved. One of those will be focused on numbers, which I'm not a huge fan of. I didn't really like math in school. The other will be focused on a water maze, which kind of makes sense. We saw a bunch of water maze looking footage in the, in the trailer we saw, and he reiterates the AI and the role that they will have within the raid experience. We know Inf Infinite Warfare has, has been hyping them up, so we're going to see how they actually play. If they play and it feels tangible and it feels organic, this could be the start of something big. 
if it's like AI in the past and it's very robotic and, and just, you know what I'm talking about, this could be a big flop. So we'll see. Now, you will reportedly be asked to infiltrate a submarine base and you'll have to use your swim mechanics. You'll have, I'm sure, intense or intense gauges of bouts. Maybe there'll be waves in a way. Maybe we'll see some waves and then we're going to have to... Uh, do something with numbers, which once again, I'm not really a fan of, so we'll see how that goes. Now, the big question people have been asking, is Raid free? Is it free to play? DMC is free to play. Warzone 2 is free to play. Unfortunately, Raid mode will not be because it is attached directly to Modern Warfare 2. So you have to own Modern Warfare 2 uh, or you can't play the raids. So technically, uh, it's not free to play. It's part of the package with the Modern Warfare 2 uh, so there you go. Now, you can purchase a standard version or the Vault Edition. It doesn't matter. You will have access to raids along with everything else. Spec Ops multiplayer campaign, but it's not technically free. So there you go. That's everything you need to know about raid modes. I hope it's good. I really do. I want an excuse to go get a couple buddies and run through this. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section, and I'll see you soon.